when we're picking a side in this case, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, again, we want one side to make it look exactly like the other side, right? Got to make these sides look exactly the same. So is it easier to take a product and make it right like an addition, or do you think it'd be easier to take addition and combine them together and make it look like a product? It's much easier to combine the addition, right? But we don't really like that as much because we know these are not like term. One is a fraction and one is just a trigonometric function. So I do need to rewrite this as two fractions. Whenever you're adding a fraction to a whole number, you had to make sure they're written both in fractional form. When we're taking one over tangent of beta plus cotangent of beta, we got to make sure we write these in there um, as both as fractions. Therefore, I can identify my common denominator to be tangent of beta. So I multiply the top and the bottom by tangent of beta. And therefore, I get 1 over tangent of beta plus tangent squared of beta over tangent of beta. Now they have the same denominator, so I can combine them. Everybody follow me? And if you guys look at your um, Pythagorean identities, you're done, just turn it to the bottom end. If you guys look at your Pythagorean identities on that sheet of paper, you should know that 1 plus tangent of beta is going to be equal to? You got it? You don't have it? Why are your hands crossed? You should be writing this down. You can't. Oh, that's not a good position. <coughs> Secant squared. So therefore, we have secant squared of beta divided by tangent of beta equals. Now, again, guys, though, do we, do we have this? No, right? So what it might be helpful is to maybe rewrite this in terms of sines and cosines so I can maybe further simplify this. So secant is 1 over cosine squared or secant squared is 1 over cosine, divided by sine of theta, or sine of beta, over cosine of beta. Then I would just multiply by my reciprocal. That multiplies to 1. That divides out. And therefore, you're left with 1 over sine times 1 over cosine, which gives you cosecant of beta times secant of beta, which is the same thing as secant of beta times cosecant of beta. So that is done. Yes? <coughs> yep, so I rewrote secant squared as 1 over cosine squared. So if it's squared, no, that doesn't work for Pythagorean identities. It has to be squared. You can't say like one plus tangent is secant. That doesn't work. Yes, and the reason why is because if you look at the Pythagorean identities, if you're 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 basically saying like you can transcend the square roots, right? You're basically saying. Well, let me do it in a different, let me just cancel, shut off this video. But what you're saying is,